Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond, back at Disneyland. I'm solo Spence today. No Katie, she's not here. It's an illusion, no. Uh, taking care of business today, sometimes it's, you know, divide and conquer. That's what's happening. We're gonna enjoy Disneyland today. Henry's with me. There's Henry. Uh, we're gonna see what's going on. It's a beautiful day. I should have worn shorts. Henry wore shorts. I, I was gonna change right before I left. I messed up, because it feels like it's like 80, right? Easily. Anyways, we're gonna go enjoy Disneyland. Probably park hop over to DCA, see what's going on over there. Kind of a free for all today. Let us go. Matt Hatter. Uh, yeah. There he is. Hey, look, Matterhorn. I know. I, I had an idea. That's my ride. The Mad Hatter Horn, right? Ma Mad Hatter, Madder Horn, my ride. Hey, Mad Hatter Horn, I like that too. You look like the Yeti in there. A little I bit Yeti. I don't look like a Yeti. I do not look like a Yeti. Especially when you get the angry. I like the, the angle. It's very musical. It says, la. There he goes. All right, we pulled over because I forgot to mention at the front, Minnie Mouse is the topiary right now because it's National Women's History Month. So Minnie's out there representing. She's got the bow. It's very cool. Also, shout out to my friend Wyatt. Met you on the tram. Thank you, Wyatt, uh, for watching the channel and Wyatt's family. You guys are awesome. And uh, they're here for a couple of days enjoying Disneyland. So shout out to those guys. We're going to, uh, I think we're going Adventureland. Henry and I were talking about like, He's like, which way do you go? Do you always do a certain? I'm like, I don't know. We just, it depends. Sometimes we try to mix it up, but I think today, that way, Adventureland. Adventureland. Okay, look at this. The Adventureland pinch point is in full effect. Who does the corner cut? Who else does that? Plus, you get some shade, you know? And then you can check to see if there's any, any new merch. It's all stitch. Look at this. Wow. Oh, that bag's really cool. Look at him. He's freaking out because he's going to the beach. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, all this stitch stuff. Perfect time of year. There's the perfect shirt for me and Henry. Um, it's the old 70s backyard chair. He just needs a goatee. He needs the goatee, yeah. And pretty soon these things are gonna fray apart, fall apart, and he's gonna fall through the thing. Oh, Indy's a scene. It's a full scene. I'm not crossing the uh, 405 here. You gotta kinda wait for a moment. It's pretty intense. So I wanna see if Patrick has maybe decorated since it's already March. I don't know, we'll have to go see. There's some folks over there checking it out, but let's see if we can cross. It's dangerous crossing the 405 freeway. Oh, would you look at this? Patrick Begora has decorated for the month of March because that's St. Patty's Day coming up. Decorated the chimney. I, I'm always concerned uh, that it's a fire hazard, but you know what? He's a leprechaun, he knows what he's doing. Look at the pot of gold with the rainbow. There it is. That's the first time I've seen that. I've never seen the rainbow represented with the pot of gold. That is so awesome. All right, navigated the Pirate's Bridge. Disneyland Roses update. Starting to get some, some greenage back. They were stripped down to nothing and they're already starting to grow again. Uh, ours on our deck are also starting to sprout. Uh, the Pirate's line is being reconfigured as we speak because the crowd is starting to uh, get busy, busy for the pirates. Now, I was curious to see the dead end here, the end of the road for New Orleans Square. You got to take the low road. I think the churro road is open, though. I call that churro road because the churro cart's right there. But yeah, look at this, man. Full blockage. And uh, you may have seen in the uh, footage from the last video, you could see all in there. It's just destroyed. Oh. There is a Jolly Roger. There's two Jolly Rogers out on the water. What the heck? We gotta investigate. Yeah, so there's this like weird little pier thing and then uh, a Jolly Roger flag there. And then another one over here, same kind of extension. That could be where those vaults are. I know those um, show vaults for Fantasmic are in those locations, so but I don't know, it looks cool. I like seeing it. Look at the geese. They're the pirates. They're like, you got a problem? We put this flag up, what? <laughs> Not to mention the island is closed. So maybe uh, phantasmic work, who knows? Maybe just refurb work for the season. Yeah, no rafts, no island, man. This is just a path to get to Galaxy's Edge or What's left of Critter Country? <laughs> I mean, you can walk up there, but you're just next to a wall, so cooler to walk down here, but yeah, this is nuts. All right, we're, uh, we're at Pelicans, and 
it's really trippy to see the entire path in front of Mansion blocked off like that. I could see that when we were on the Twain, but it just, I guess it just didn't read as much as when you're over here. You're like, whoa, did they like take the whole wall down? Like, what did they do? Well, I can report that Ezekiel, no Ezekiel still. We miss Ezekiel, but the cookie line is almost non-existent for Choco Chips. Uh, and they smell great. I'm not doing it today. I'm not doing it, Henry. I'm trying to watch it. Oh, see, they finally started to work on the, uh, the merch shop is all what it looks like. Yeah, look at that. I was wondering when this is going to start happening. That's awesome. So, yep, yeah, that merch shop will be right there. One of my favorite lines. Creepies, crawlies, toads in a pond. Let there be music from best life and beyond. They just got the graphic wrong. That's cool. Yeah, I knew this would connect. I didn't know it would make like a V. I thought it would just connect all the way. But they want this little egress to, to have access, I guess. So where two walls converge. And we're getting a pretty clear view of the pet cemetery back there. Look at that. With a loader in front of it. But still, that is the old pet cemetery. And then the exit to the ride, that roof, roof line there. Wild. They've completely like dug out the path and the front yard because that's in the walkway there where they are, it looks like. So they're digging that subterranean ADA access maybe right there. Going underground. It's one big pile of dirt. All right, we're looking down into the trench and it uh, looks like bags of debris that are, uh, you know, scrap, like um, demo stuff, just cement chunks, metal, who knows what, but. Oh yeah. Ready for. Ready for pickup. And our Critter Country friends are still forming on the job here. They're keeping an eye on what's going on. Watchful eye. Hey, hey, the path seems to be open. I didn't realize from the other side, I didn't even try. Didn't have faith that it was open. But looky here, oh, they put tables up here? No way. At least one, that is cool. And then one over there, look at that, okay. I want to come eat here. Look at this spot. Best table in Disneyland right there. That's great. That is cool. And Columbia's now in uh, Fowler's. Probably getting its refurb. I haven't checked the schedule, but it would seem by process of elimination that that is what is going on. I hear some sanding, so for sure. But the tables, uh, the temporary tables over here, this is something that uh, once this Tiana's opens, they'll never have this like this here again. So it's pretty cool. The path is open. We're very happy to report that the path is open. Very good. Have lunch on the path. Highly recommend it. Good service back there. Yes. <laughs> the staff there. Ah, such nice people. Looking at Tiana's and look at those surfaces seem to be uh, pretty complete there. Interesting. Taking a look at the canoe dock as the Mark Twain makes her way by. She's she's going a full clip there, huh? Look at the, the duck is racing. Hurry, you got it. <laughs> and the duck won. Nice try, Mark Twain. Oh, there's Tiana. There she is. I see the, the green dress. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, uh, Disneyland made this a campsite that like a couple times a year, somebody could win like a family thing and they could camp out here at night. I don't know, that'd be really awesome. I'm sure it's a liability issue and all that, but they let people camp out or uh, spend the night in the mansion, right? This would be so cool. Henry wants a hammock, so we can do that, that's easy. It wouldn't cost a lot in Disney, you could charge like a billion gazillion dollars for it and we'd all try to be there in the virtual queue and we'd all get mad because we couldn't get it. Right. Um, but yeah, campsite. Camp Disney. I'm just saying, it's a, it's a, it's an easy idea. People would love it. You heard it here first, Best Life and Beyond, and Henry. You know, I thought that was a putting green the first time I saw it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, for the dads, yeah, think about it. Yeah. Dads, you come to Disneyland, you're frustrated, you're annoyed, you're doing it for your kids because you love them. If there was a putting green, you would be very happy. I mean, if you're a golfer, not all dads are golfers, but it's a, it's a good kind of, Henry, you'd nod that. You'd be like, yep, see? See, I feel like today you're getting kind of uh, the blue sky, Spencer's blue sky for Disneyland. It's just as good as what they're doing. Right, Dylan? Come on, Dylan, Dylan will tell you. Just, you know, trying to think outside the box a little bit. Imagination. Oh yeah, Galaxy's Edge. If you'd have told me 
that when I was older, I would get to look at real X-Wings like right in front of me and be in a land that's all Star Wars. I wouldn't have been one of those people that said, no way. You know, people say that like, if you were to tell Spence when he was 12 that there'd be a Star Wars land, you get to like see all this cool stuff, hang out with Chewie and stuff. And yeah, bring it, I love it. <laughs> kind of looks like Vader right there, that piece right there. Looks like a Vader helmet. Ah, oh, we've entered the heart of Galaxy's Edge. I haven't seen a character yet. Kind of like, I like just catching characters, you know, as as I'm moving. I don't like to like stop and wait or anything in line or. I don't. I mean, cool if you if people do that. It's just that I like to catch them naturally. It's kind of fun. It's like a challenge because it doesn't happen that often, you know. Oh, I love when this tree starts blooming. It looks so great. All right, we're on the lookout for random oh i hear r2 i was gonna say looking out for droids and i think i hear r2 i know yep there he is we'll just see him from afar because he gets pretty he's very popular he's like a rock star here at galaxy's edge it's really rad that, that r2 is you know the rock star that he is it's just that he gets so hounded because he's the only character here and this place was supposed to be, you know, like a ton of characters. Like, if there was like four more droids around, it'd be so cool. Just in general, it would take the pressure off R2 as well. R2 works way too hard, you guys, and he doesn't get paid that much. I'm just, I'm just telling you. You saw how we got treated on Jabba's barge. I'm just saying, to be fair, you do have other droids in there in the form of like a Coca-Cola drink thing, but they're not kind of free to roam and it, it doesn't feel like a spaceport like, like intended. So it'd be a simple fix to really plus this place. Just add a few more droids. Make your own droids too, you know, like cool ones we've never seen. Galaxy's Edge exclusive droids. All right, we're getting blue milks. Look, they still have the uh, the Tenu Swirl. This one has the crunchy cereal in it. We like the old one, the, um, I forget what it was called. And they still got the poly starch puff bread. That stuff's good. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> love these people around here. They're amazing. And I love the blue milk. It's like uh, when it's hot, there's like, I don't know if it's like the coconut milk, there's something that this is refreshing. Very refreshing. Mm. Right? Done. We're back. We're back on planet Earth. Here's a trash can. Someone left an I'm celebrating button. You guys know the deal with trash cans. If you find anything that somebody left on the ground or whatever, you leave it on top of a trash can uh, in Disney parks and then hopefully somebody comes back and finds it. That's just, you'll see stuff on trash can tops and that's why. It is a rare occasion when the partner statue is not uh, have people waiting in line to take a photo. So we'll take a look. The band's over there doing their set. So awesome, look at this. These trees are getting ready to just go off. These things get so pink and so rad for the springtime. It's close. This one over here, got a ways to go. This one, I don't see anything. But anyways, can't wait for that. All right, park hopping. There's Belle, look at it. It's so weird when they have characters out front here, but it's kind of cool. I wish Minnie was here in front of her topiary. It would have been insane. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to DCA. You ever notice in the Esplanade, uh, people will come and clean their uh, markers? Because you see most of them look kind of brown, and but there's people that will come and clean them, and you'll see the shiny ones. There's the Mumpus and California Adventure. Such a nice day. All right, we're inside DCA. Let's see what's going on here. Hollywood Boulevard, pretty packed. We're gonna be daring and head right down there, see what's going on. Ah, we got double red cars, I love it. This is like, this is like old school LA for real right here. That is so cool. Hitting the switch. Hollywood Boulevard, Carthay Circle, Buena Vista Street. So great. Ah, oh, Schmoozies is back open. It's probably been open for a bit, but last time, last time we looked, it seemed like it was uh, had walls around it. But and then this churro. Oh, it's not even that uh, not that bad of a line. Maybe we'll try this churro. This is a food and wine offering. Sip and savor eligible. The cannoli churro, cinnamon sugar topped with cannoli cream, chocolate chips, puff pastry. Come on, that works. I mean, that's just, that's a natural that that's gonna work. Oh, it's a process. This one has to be built. This is 
probably why the line's long, because it's crafted. It's so awesome. Look at this. There goes the cannoli cream. Oh, yeah. She's piping it on there. Dude, that's why this is so good. Look at that. Chocolate chips. Oh. And then puff pastry. There it comes. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. So much. Appreciate that. Fun. All right, there it is. You saw it being made, and now we're going to uh, demolish this thing, as Dylan would say. It's perfect, because Henry and I are going to split it, and it's like they split the churros already. The, the key is to try to get enough of the cannoli, because it seems like it's, it's going to fall in between. I'm not going to get any. There we go. I'm almost thinking that's, that's like the bite of the century right there. Henry went for it, yes. <laughs> Henry, that was delicious. Right? Yeah. Like seriously, out of all the special churros you've ever had, does that rate pretty high? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I probably have sugar on my face, forgive me, but that was worth it. I would get that again and again. Katie would love that. I know she would. Um, very, very cannoli. -y. It's very light. Canola. I said very canola, <laughs> like oil. No, very cannoli e. That's why it's hard to say. Mm-hmm. All right, that's a hit. We'd get that again and again. Highly recommend that over here at the entrance to Hollywood Studios. If you don't try this churro when it's here, man, you're missing out. It's you'll the perfect be, blend. You'll be late. You'll be late. Henry said it. Talk to Henry. I, I can't help you. <laughs> Good eye, Henry. La Brea carpets, much like La Brea tar pits. That is some kind of genius right there. How come I never saw that, Henry? I've never seen that. Spotted. Just not looking in the right spot. Eagle eye. Eagle eye. That was a rad one. People are probably like, yes, Vince, we've known about that one forever. Hyperion Theater, end of the line for the Pacific Electric Trolley. Are the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I can hear, I can hear Star Lord out there. They're switching the wire. There we go. Contact. Just passing through Avengers Hallway, as Mark Ricky calls it. I think it's quite appropriate. Uh, that's why I borrow it. Um, but yeah, we're about to hit Cars Land, and we're in. Well, maybe not yet. The pavement hasn't changed, I thought. Yeah, that's where. In three, two, oh yeah, now we're in Cars Land. Uh, the theming of Radiator Springs and Cars Land and all that, it's just so, I have to say, like, Galaxy's Edge is awesome, but when you're talking about theming, like, pounds per square inch, attractions, merchandise, food. I mean, I, I have to say that Cars Land, probably still the best new land to this date in a Disney park. Uh, and then I guess maybe I would challenge that with Pandora's pretty awesome, but that's only two rides in Pandora's. So I'm trying to compare like everything, you know, like the amount of rides, the quality of those rides, the amount of food, the theming itself, you know. It's hard to do. Yeah, this, uh, this is by far, you tell me, you guys, that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm right, but I just think Cars Land is one of the best themed lands to date, end of story period. That's just me. And that's for a Disney park. Uh, let me preface that because, you know, Universal's about to unload a, a can of you know what. So I, I preface that with Disney parks only. It's so nice to have Radiator back open. We're just gonna go single, we'll see how long it takes. This could be a big mistake, but who knows, maybe we'll Turn and burn. Oh, it's all the way back here. Woo, well, let's ride it for a minute and see how it goes. Because this ride has not been open in so long. You guys ever noticed the RS right there in the rocks for Radiator Springs? Right around the big horseshoe turn and Cadillac Ridge. All right, 308, we're under the bridge. So it's moving pretty good. It's, like I said, uh, see when we get up there but 308 currently 308 under the bridge we'll check back in at the radiator cap all right 15 minutes and we're at the radiator uh, cap fountain right there but I just heard that it went up to 75 minutes they made an announcement on the loudspeaker it was 55 when we walked in here no 65 I think when we walked in here so it's gone up a little bit but we're moving look taking more steps not too bad though 15 minutes so far we have made it to the line. We're right 
at the point where we're going to be fed into the uh, the last part of the queue and uh, 3:20. Not too bad. 20 minutes so far. I'm saying another 15 probably at the most, which is not bad for a radiator. Come on. All right, we're going. Oh, we're shooting today. Ah, getting our photo taken, Henry. Yes. There goes yellow. Oh yes, we're getting yellow. I think we're getting yellow. Uh, we're not. Teal. Teal. Teal's cool. All right, that was awesome. Probably the best execute ever. Right? We timed that right. Look at that line. All right, Henry, that was fun. I saw your photo. There it is right there. We're gonna put it on the screen. Oh, cool. I couldn't, couldn't find my photo. There's Baymax holding it down as we enter the food and wine corridor. Normally the parade corridor, but you know, today and for the next month, it is the food and wine. Look at this, Love Pops here. Hello, Love Pop. Downtown Disney. Henry and I are parched. We need, we need a beverage. All right, Henry and I decided to get the charcuterie flatbread. It's basically a flatbread pizza, and it's got some uh, jelly cure beets in there, mozzarella cheese, pepperoncini dipping sauce. Um, yeah, it looked good. Yeah, with a beer, you know, half of Eisen. Henry got the Belgian. I've had that before. That's the most alcohol content of a beer over here. Look at that thing. It looks like a, almost looks like a Guinness. It's like motor oil. Well, cheers one, Henry, Gross. for good measure. Prost, night prost. The only thing missing from the Hefeweizen is like a slice of orange would be good in there. Yes. All right, we gotta try these flatbreads, I'm curious. Now, it comes with this pepperoncini dipping sauce, which kind of looks like ranch. Oh, Henry's diving in. I'm gonna do a bite without the sauce. The bite without the sauce is really good. Perfect, like, you know, uh, beer snack, you know, greasy enough. Pepperoni pizza, yo. Katie would like this too. I always kind of, I'm trying to judge for Katie too because she's not here. I'd be like, yeah, she'd probably like this. She'd probably say it was a little greasy, but she'd probably like it. And by the way, there's no kick uh, to that pepperoncini um, sauce or whatever that is. Um, the whole thing, it's great. Digging it. Uh, we get this again and again, and I will get it again and again. <laughs> so good. All right, we're headed back out into the mix. Still got a few sips left of the Hefeweizen. That thing, that uh, the flatbread, charcuterie flatbread was actually really good. Uh, Henry liked it. Very, very good. Right? Uh, it was oily, I'll, I'll say that. Very but greasy, yeah. It was very delicious. It was good greasy. We like that sometimes. <laughs> Fire, fire, fire. 
All right, a little live music uh, for the Food and Wine Festival. That's the reggae band that uh, is playing the rotation. They're awesome. Uh, I'm here at Club 64 hanging out. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Club 64, much like the Magic Keys right now, is open for uh, membership. Strict, stringent, like it's it's a really strict process. It's, um, you know, they do background checks. They, they call your employers. They call your friends, your family. They, they vet you, trust me. Club 64, if you don't know, sorry about it. Time check, time check. <laughs> it's about just after two o'clock. It's avocado time is what it is. No, it's not, but it's just after two. We just noticed these shells uh, right here. Henry, good eye, little mermaid shells in the planters and like sand and it looks like a shoreline, you know? Uh, right next to the avocado time. We're gonna hang a left at Pepper's Caliente. They have some good stuff over there, Henry, trust me. But we gotta keep moving. Grizzly, full operation, except except for the uh, the wheel. It's like a, it's like a dredge wheel. It's not it's running. Frozen. It's frozen. Henry says it's yeah, it's very rusty. It's my favorite new churro cart because it's a truck. It's it's the cinnamon truck. Grizzly Falls churros. Look at it. It's got a churro license plate. It's got curtains on the back and churros being cooked as we speak. This is, oh, brake lights too, just in case. It's got the moon rims, right? Mm -hmm. VW moon rims. Okay. Old Redwood Creek, shuttered up. Pardon our detoured path while we forge the way for your next adventure. All right, all right, that's fine. We'll see what they got for us. I'd probably a standard refurb this time of year, I would assume, but I feel like we're gonna need a pedicure. Henry, look at this, it's pretty, right? Oh, yeah, pretty rough. Manny petties for you guys, part of the refurb process. I just spotted the uh, the chip egg for the uh, the egg hunt that's happening. I think here and Disneyland and downtown Disney, but <laughs> he's just sitting over there. Good spot for him. As we make our way past Russian River, still working on the lockers over here. The good thing though is that Hiker Bear is back. He's back. That kid's stoked. He's definitely refreshed. He looks a lot better. I want to know why he has a gate around him right now. Maybe they don't want people taking pictures under there. I don't know, that's weird. And then DVC's little project over here that used to be the lockers. Coming along. He gets kind of see through the fence, but really, I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's just a DVC thing. It's not an attraction or food. Ooh, yes. Look at the mist today. Ooh, they are spinning. Sometimes those things have a mind of their own. They just start spinning. Look at that, it's buried in the mist. Look at it. Ho, ho. Now Soarin' Over California is back for the Food and Wine Festival. So that line is super huge over there. Like I really wanna go on that, but it's gonna have to be like an early morning kind of situation because that is a super gnarly line for, for Soarin'. We were gonna try to maybe do single, but it's only available like when it's possible. Today is not one of those days. Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? Let's hear it! M-I-C-K-E-Y M-O-U-S-C That's good! Hey, they're hiding home there. You're as welcome as can be. Again! M-I-C-K-E-Y M-O-U-S-C That's it. We're out of here. Got to go. Bye, Henry. See ya. <laughs> bye bye, everybody.